Welcome to my channel. Today's video is actually really exciting for me because I got the iPhone 6 Plus. I got it. Yes, I did. Oh my gosh, I just had to. I love all the iPhones and I just had to get it. I got the iPhone 6 Plus and I got it in silver and it's in the 64 gigabyte. And I just have the this isn't the default one, the one it came with, but it's the one that all the pictures are showing on the Apple website and I just thought it was so pretty, so I had to have that on there. And so I am just going to show you what is on my iPhone and a little bit of a review on how I like it as opposed to my 5S. Alright, so here is my beautiful beauty, and I love her so much. I don't know what I'm going to name her yet, but she's amazing. Again, so I have the iPhone 6 Plus white, um, well, the silver one, and I got it in 64 gig. And this is the comparison when I put my iPhone 5S right next to it. If you can't tell, I love pink. So... That is why I have these, obviously. <laughs> um, and this is what the case looks like on the back. It's Kate Spade. I got this at Best Buy and it was only $40. And this case is from Victoria's Secret Pink. So once they make a pink case from Victoria's Secret, I will definitely grab it for my new iPhone. And um, as you can see, obviously they are... This one is very thinner than this one and I don't really want to take it out of this case just because it was hard to put on sort of and I don't want to take it off this one is obviously easier to take off because it's just silicone and this one's a combination of silicone and a hard case so this part silicone and this is hard plastic all right so let's get into this baby so sorry I have like a little smudges on here. I haven't gotten a screen protector so I'm trying to be very careful. My screen protector won't ship in until maybe tomorrow I think. I think it's supposed to arrive tomorrow hopefully. So this iPhone, um, it has the fingerprint recognition just like the iPhone 5S. So I've had that for a while now. So I'll just put my thumb there and I will unlock my phone. and. Let's get into my apps. It has the calendar, which is self-explanatory, FaceTime, my photos. Uh, I don't have a lot because I just got the phone on Friday and it's Monday today. So I haven't added um, a lot of pictures on there. But that's the way it looks like if you want to look at years. And then we got our camera right there. We got the weather, we got a clock, which inside you will have alarm clock, and you will have a stopwatch and a timer and all that stuff. So that's the time I wake up at, by the way. Sometimes. Um, and it has maps and videos. If you have videos, you can keep notes. You can also add reminders. And here's the game center. I don't really use that very much. I don't really play a lot of games. Um, and then we got the iTunes store, the app store, the iBooks. Um, I don't think I have anything on there. I had some on my iPad. And I don't think I have any on here. Nope. Oh, yes I do. So I have Divergent, Mocking J, and this textbook that I got. But I haven't read any of those, so yeah. And then this phone, it actually came with default iMovie, and I haven't used it on the phone, so I... As you can see, I this is my first time even going in here. So, I don't know. Um, I think this is just if you want to edit something you filmed on your phone obviously but I use Final Cut Pro on my computer which is a lot easier to use than on my mobile device even though this has a big screen I just prefer to use my computer and then we got music which is iTunes and then I've got my Wells Fargo app just in case I want to check my balance and maybe payments that I sent out and this is new with the iOS 8 um, haven't really played around with it. I did actually yesterday. Um, let's see. So, you can add your body measurements, fitness. Um, I guess you can create like a little profile. And then your nutrition, results, sleep, and all that. So, this will count like your steps. I know I 
did that much because yesterday it said I only walked 65 steps, which is sad. I was off, so I wasn't doing anything. And my next app is Mail, which all my email accounts are linked to that. And Safari, my browser. And then I got the YouTube application, which you guys should have. And you guys should subscribe to me if you haven't already. I, this is my channel. So yeah, I'll just check my stuff here sometimes. And, and I definitely watch lots of videos on here. Here are all my subscriptions. I'm actually subscribed to like 400 channels, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But I love every single one of them. I try to watch everybody's videos. Sometimes it's impossible to catch up. Next, we have the Messenger app, which is from Facebook. Facebook makes you get the Messenger application. Now you can't message just on Facebook. So yeah, I have that there. And then I have my Facebook application and I have a Facebook page. If you guys wanna go like my page, I would greatly appreciate that. It's facebook.com backslash iBlanca89. And then I've got my settings. And on my next page, I have podcast, which that came with the iPhone now. Um, you used to have to be able to download it from the app store, but now it comes as default here. And in here is extras. I have my compass, tips, voice memos, and contacts. I don't use voice memos at all. I sometimes do check the tips because it does help a little bit if you don't know all the new stuff on the phone. So that does help. Uh, the compass, no, I don't use that. And then contacts, I would just go under my phone to do that. Next, I have iTunes U, which I don't know what that is actually. This is new as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I haven't used that at all. I don't know. I haven't used that. It looks interesting. Next we have pages on here, which I'm assuming is just like Word, except the Mac version. I do have that on my Mac. because I did purchase that when I was still in school. But then I switched back to Microsoft Word because it's easier to use. And then there's Keynote, which I don't know exactly what this is. So I will have to play around with that. And then we have GarageBand, which that comes with the Max, And I don't use that, actually. Then we have Passbook, which I never use. This comes default as well. And it's actually pretty cool because it keeps your boarding passes, movie tickets, concert tickets, and things like that, which is really interesting. So I think I will start using this pretty soon for things like that. Next, I have my finance side, which, yeah, I don't use that either. I don't use stocks, I don't use numbers. Numbers is like Excel, I believe. And I don't use either. There's a lot of apps I don't use. And next, I have my WhatsApp. On this app, I actually communicate with my family in Mexico. So we can text and even call each other through this application. It's pretty cool and it's free of charge. Or wait, I think it's free of charge for the first year and then the next year they charge you a dollar, which yeah, it's like nothing. So yeah, I definitely use this one. And then I have my Snapchat and I rarely use it. I just got it because one of my friends asked me to get it and occasionally I'll go on there and take a picture and send it to her and send it to the other people that have added me. And I have my Nissan Connect app because my Nissan has this application so I can connect with this and I don't know everything about it but it's pretty cool. I can actually even check Facebook on my car which is kind of dangerous I think and yeah and then I have find iPhone which is find my iPhone and always have that if you have an iPhone or anything Apple related like you can have your Mac your iPad on there and if you lose it or whatever you can find your phone or your whatever Apple device you have by going on that. And I recently downloaded this application. It's called Get Subscribers, but I haven't used it. I don't know if I should trust it or not. If you guys know this application, let me know. I just don't know if it's trustworthy because it says you have to like agree to all these terms and I don't know if I want to do that. So I haven't done that. And then I have my studio application which is through YouTube and you can actually check 
um, how many views you're getting, subscribers in the last 28 days, and then you can check your videos and you can check um, your comments. Right here you would get like a little number and tell you your notifications and you can actually write back to people right there. So you can communicate with your subscribers through here, which is pretty cool, I think. And then this application is just to uh, disarm my work place where I work so if I just go on that I can disarm and alarm the work environment and leave or come in or whatever and then I have my calculator and those are all the pages I have I don't have a lot of applications oops down here this is what I use the most which is my phone of course if I want to call somebody I will go there and then I have my Twitter if you want to follow me I'm at iBlanca underscore yeah <laughs> So that's my username on on Twitter. And then I have my Instagram. If you want to follow me, I'm at iBlanca89. And that's what my profile looks like right now. I really love Instagram. So I will post like pretty much everything on here. I even post like when I upload a new video. As you can see, I will post my thumbnail and let you guys know that there's a new video up. And yeah, so... If you're interested, you can follow me. And then we've got messages, which is just text messages. And that is pretty much all that's on my iPhone. And this is what it looks like while I'm holding it. It is big for my hand, but I love it. Like, I can't really, well, I can't actually text like that, but I, I wouldn't want to walk and text like that because what if I drop it? And yeah, no, no, don't do that. I wouldn't recommend it and it can slip out of your hand and you can break your phone since this is a lot thinner I did see the drop test on it and if these fall on the screen it will crack it's really dangerous I wouldn't do that so if you're gonna text and walk at the same time I would hold it with both hands so that is pretty much all for this video yeah I love my baby she's so pretty yeah so in case you guys can't tell, I did dye my hair and I am going to be making a review video on what I use to color my hair. So hopefully I should have that video up on Thursday for you guys in case you're interested. I really liked what I used. It left my hair feeling super soft and I've never had that by any other hair dye. So I really want to share with you guys what I used and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video.